I'm going to make a trepanning tool to cut, to cut 8 inch by 50 inch deep. This is 4145 steel. So I'm going to start by roughing this down. This is about 25 millimeter to come off at diameter. I turn away from chuck. These are the tools I'll be using. This one for plunging in, getting somewhere near size than this one, which removes more material. Keep the tailstock as short as possible. Ten revs per minute, fifteen thousandths of an inch feed rate. That was actually a 25,000 feed rate. So anyway, it's five millimeter to come off. So I'll size that end, turn it around, pick up, turn it all through with a nice shiny finish. This is to make a 8 inch trepanning tool. The customer uh, texted us yesterday that they want another one making 8.5 inch, so they sent another piece in. It's exactly the same length and everything, so I'll, I'm going to rough this out same and then send them both out together. That's them both ready, so now I'll send them out to be bored. That's both pieces back board to depth. I make eight inch and eight and a half inch repanning tools. The reason for leaving 10 millimeter on the diameter to remove after boring is when it has been bored, the stress relief, what comes out of the steel can cause it to bend. Uh, this is 4145, it's quite good stuff, so it's all it's only distorted 30 thou. Clock true at this end, 
running through at this end, running 30th out. So that's quite successful. I need to turn it now. Two millimetre left on the body to remove. After I've turned the shank, shank details. But to turn the shank and then drill through with a 20 millimetre hole for the coolant supply. Removing the excess length, which was three and a half inch, which was allowed for any problems that they had in the bore if they've gone too deep. There's one millimetre left on the shank size, which I will drill the hole through it first before I finish that and let it go cold. Because if I turn that to size now, while it's hot, guarantee tomorrow morning it will be four or five thousand possibly smaller Shank finished, turn to length, turn to size. Need to turn it around now, finish the body. That's all the turning work done. Now, onto the milling and bring it round here, onto the bridge port. Now it's set up on the V-blocks, I've got a problem where the cutter doesn't come to the end, the bed length is, is maximum, but it's a bridge port and bridge ports don't have problems. So. Now it does. That's the first part of the scrap channel to depth. But I've got 10 inch left on the other side, so I'll just do the same and this again. Put it down. That'll give me the rest of the room. So that's as far as I can go with this setup. I need to get rid of the rest of that. But before I slide it down and alter the setup, I'm gonna I'll fit this into here. So that's before. And that's after. So next part, I'm gonna get rid of this. Then I'll flip it round and tackle the other side.
And that's the first half finished. Turn it around now, 180, do it the other side. That's after not to remove the rest of this scratch out. I've angled the tube round five degrees to give a big bigger clearance on the scrap channel. I'll do that both sides. So that's it finished. It will cut 8 inch, 50 inches deep. So really it can cut 100, 100 inches, 50 inches way. So thanks for watching, I'll get on with the eight and a half inch now, but you know how I make them now so I won't, I won't film that.